So where's my just start? If I continue where I'm playing, was playing off before, play for about mm, I want to say play for about an hour or two. Oh goodness! Uh, been a while actually since I played. Remember last time we were trying to do? Last time I was playing, we were trying to get into further in the cave to fight one of the boss monsters. Hello. Heck yeah. I'll take double jump boots. I prefer not to. Nah, I couldn't avoid it. Uh, let's see, the RB against win. Uh, it's been a while, so I don't remember which character, which monster has which. I want to say Aang had. Yeah, Aang had the win abilities. Not getting any lag or issues with the recording itself, so we should be good. You all resist fire, and I chose a fire monster. That's my fault. I really want to take out the Tengu. Tengu has way too good DPS. I actually try to see if I can get a fire off. I actually don't remember. I can't check. I'll have to hope I did. I think I got the buff that uh, whenever I deal any type of attack, I have a chance to get fire damage in. Way too high of a barrier. Should go down from fire, so I'm not too worried about that. Jump boot, so that's a, that's definitely a little interesting. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need to swap to my good bird friend. Where is my bird friend? There he is. Ugh. Ah, I missed it. There's the Metroidvania part down. Bronze. Really? That's it? That's all we get from this little area? I don't believe that. Nothing. Ah, wait, that's probably a small thing right there. Hold up. I'm 
actually surprised. I would have figured they would have put something there. There seems like too obvious of a spot. Feels weird that that entire parkour area had only like one thing of copper. Hey, Plague Doctor. It'd be too dangerous to continue in this direction, especially for such a young one. <laughs> okay, that was a strange one. I don't think I've seen his mask before. But my memory gets a little foggy when I try to remember things from another century. Might be worth investigating. Isn't this just a direct path to... Ooh, arrival. Uh, I want to make sure my... I don't have any seal points. I want to make sure I have decent equipment on everybody. Uh, you are a support mage. I think I'll do that. boss monster. That, that's a champion monster. I don't think I'm ready for this. I have an idea. I'll stay at a distance to study its behavior. I... really? You wuss. Uh, let's see. Weak to fire, strong against grass. Magma Pillar, no matter what, is going in there, because that's my fire damage right there. And he doesn't have anything really good. He does have heals, so I might do... Hmm. This is a tough one. Because I could do Magma Pillar. I mean, Magma Pillar doesn't matter what's in there, because he has fire damage. Aang, Aang has healing and mixed attacks, that should be good. And I also have Corona, who does, who's a good tank, who can deal poison damage if I can get it in. Problem is, he's, work, he's resistant to earth-based attacks. I think it, you know, there's not, I feel like I just might go with my basic team. Base my base first three. That's a lot of buffs. Ow, ow, ow. Problem is, though, is that while Corowan can use uh, buffs himself, he can't exactly heal, so I'm starting to wonder if that's not good. Nah, Claws is probably the best. Poison and uh, burn, so we should. He still deal with that. He'll be taking a lot of extra damage, which is good.
barrier is going. Which, no, he already has barrier on everybody. Almost there. Should have him next turn. Ooh, crit. I think we have him actually. Oh yeah. Nice. And everyone gets a level up. Wow, you did it. You are braver than me. Thought I was prepared for it, but once I saw this champion, I felt paralyzed. By the way, did you also meet this suspicious person earlier? Leonard. Oh, it's Leonard. If you two are still here, did you find any champion monsters? Yes. River just defeated one herself. No. Eh. Still in beta. What? You must have confused it with a regular monster. The champion must still be around here somewhere. What a big headed guy. Anyway, I'll go back to keep trying to find something out about the suspicious person we met. Meet me at the library and see your stronghold. Yep. Let's just go back to the beginning. Well done, River. This is your first real challenge as a monster keeper. Who knows what else you are capable of? Alright, I want to go through everyone's skills. Also gives me a good refresher, just to remember what everyone was. Because I know Corellin was all about poison damage and tanking. So I had uh, Poison Glance, which means whenever someone attacks, I'm 40 percent chance to get poison. He had taunt, so all of his stuff would get, or attacks would be redirected towards him. 25% chance, but it's still pretty good. Um, let's see. Health wouldn't be a bad idea. Toxic feedback, though, is pretty nice. Say healing wave would be pretty nice, would make Corona a tanky healer. So I might go to for that health plus, that way next round we'll have more points for this. Okay, Magma was all about putting people on fire, so ah, I didn't have it. I thought I had Kindle, but I didn't. Now what was it down here I wanted to get? Oh yeah, that's right, copy shield. Because that means every time I get a shield from uh, Burning Desire, they also get a 20% of that extra shield put onto them. Same for mana shielding. That's right, that's why I wanted copy shield. I might almost save the... Is there anything good on this route? I don't see anything that was good on this one, except for maybe getting magic plus, but that's not... That might be nice, assuming the mana proc also affects the shield, the shield bus we do. Oh, the fireball storm doesn't deal a uh, burn. Still might be worthwhile getting Ignite too. Because while the burn damage is nice, it's not as good as I would like. I kind of want to get Kindle though. Yeah, I'm going to grab Kindle. That way, if I try to go down the Arcane Bolt tree, I can get uh, more burn procs off. Now, you were all about crits of getting buffed, I believe. I remember there was a skill on here that was like, every or every buff you have on, you have plus something. 
I didn't remember you having a heal tree. Interesting. Ooh, that auto heal though is pretty nice. That's kind of tempting. The problem is this magic is really low, so it's not the greatest. But, I mean, I do know I got that from mana regeneration. I always need to have that up. That's good. Uh, I might save. Save the skill point for later. Cause this is definitely good, cause I definitely do use a lot of buffs, but I kind of want to save it for down this path maybe, and then we'll go back to this one. I'm gonna save a skill point for Mausers. Those Vi have. I was all about buffing as well. Like, that was literally Vi's biggest thing, is not healing, but buffing. So let's see. Um, could do air sickle, critical damage, I even... Nah, I think uh, Vi might also save as well, I'm going to get these. Probably his heroism's not that good on Vi, because Vi's not offensive. Vi cares about putting buffs on other on other ally monsters, not for itself. So let's see, heroism's not bad. Aang was all about different multi-attacks, so he pretty much has one of every element. Which is why I called it Aang, for obvious reasons. Uh, track proc's not a bad idea. chance. But I also, that's a problem, because I don't know if I should do fiery punches, because I already have a, mo a monster that does fire damage, or... Uh, let's see. I do want to get double impact, because double impact's really good. Because if I get it, I have the 50% chance of an extra hit, since Aang can use pretty much every element for damage. That's practically a bonus hit every time. I might go for a crit chance though, so I'm gonna go take that. Not a fun guy. Fun guy's all about debuffs. Which is why I might take magic plus. What was over here? Mm, just looks like gen kind of basic offensive capabilities, but I don't really care about that. The Saboteur's shield is really good, since it's uh, fun guys all about debuffs. Yeah, I'm going to take Magic Plus. And I'll save the skill points for Vi and Meowthers. Alright, where else have I not explored in this area? Uh, looks to be a little bit to my right and left. Go to my right. Hey, Manji. Oh, I hear you on the work thing. I'm kind of, well, I'm kind, I'm, I'm mixed on not having to work today. Uh, I'm definitely happy though because I can stream, and so far I haven't had any uh, issues in terms of uh, delays for OBS. I hope my uh, audio is coming out fine, by the way. Because while I'm not having, so because while Streamlabs is not showing any errors, uh, I can't actually check myself if my audio is coming out properly. So I hope everything's good on your end. Hope work was all right. Uh, I'm probably gonna be streaming until I want to say uh, maybe up to the new year for me. But I'll debate on that as time goes along. Uh, I'm just gonna be playing Monster Sanctuary for about uh, I want to say another hour or two. Probably around, eh, I'll say like just another hour. And then afterwards I'll try to figure out if I want to swap games or not. So it looks good, I'm happy to hear that. Because I think the only reason why I was having, I had problems with the last stream, why it lagged so much, was either 
Sims just really overloaded my CPU, which yeah, admittedly it does do that. I I love the game, but it does seem to overload the CPU. Or um, it was the fact that I didn't have my dry, uh, video driver updated. Because ever since now since I have my video driver updated, there's no problems whatsoever. And that's really the only thing I changed aside from checking how fast my Wi-Fi was. I did not mean to just run into these guys. Uh, Magma Pillar, Meowsers, and Aang. Is uh, sound good at least? Because that was another thing I was worried about. I don't know how well you can hear me over the game. What was agility again? Yeah, uh, no, because these guys aren't physical fighters. I forgot to grab the fire punch. Oh, that's my fault. Although I suppose I actually haven't really said what I am playing. Now I think about it. Uh, this is Monster Sanctuary, which I know for most people, their first instinct would say, Oh, it's Pokemon! It's like, uh, no, I gotta disagree on that one. I think it's actually more closer to the Digimon DS games. Uh, Digimon World, Digimon World Dawn, and Digimon World Dusk, which are, in my opinion, the best Digimon games that are out there. Um, yeah, in regards to that, it's because not only do your monsters have different elements, similar to typing in Pokemon and whatnot, but they have something that Pokemon doesn't do, which is stuff like equipment, skill trees, and so on, which a lot of the Digimon games actually did. Not even mentioning that, it's also three-on-three -three fights, which, yes, I know triple battles exist in Pokemon, but that, that was never a common thing when it came to every single battle. Oh, God, Aang is really low. I'll take a freezing punch knockout. Nice. Oh, I loved. I have uh, both Digimon Dawn and Dusk. I originally played Digimon Dawn. Um, I didn't have Dusk. I had well, I had Dusk and then I lost it. Um, and I played Digimon Dawn most of the time. I got the uh, leader of the Dawn side's Digimon. And I remember loving the fact that I had gotten it from an egg. An egg, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, an egg reading thing, because it still has online. Because if you go online right now, if you still have the game, there are still people, the online functions are still available, which is awesome. I didn't think they would work till now, but in regards to how I know they're online still, it's because I recently purchased a new copy of Digimon Dust, and I started playing it again, it was awesome. Um, and I meant, and I just found it funny because I went online. I was like, "Oh, hey, maybe I should play online, see if uh, the function is still." And it is. There's people still playing the game online. Like, there's people still battling. There's people still breeding eggs. It's it's pretty cool. Although, admittedly, that was like, I want that was like in the middle of summer. So, for all I know, it could have gone down. But I, considering how old the game is, I'm willing to believe it's still up. I got Swift of Eye. It's like my best thing for getting through here. And I still own uh, three copies of the original Digimon World because I had an obsession. I just I was bigger on Digimon, I think, for a lot of my for a lot of my teen years, just because I found them. I, I just kind of found the designs more interesting, to be honest. It just kind of stinks because a lot of uh, current Digimon games aren't really that good, in my opinion. They're kind of mediocre at best. Oh, I do not want to fight you things. You do wield way too much damage. Also, another thing, in case it was obvious, is this is also kind of a Metroidvania as well. Having to do parkour and whatnot, and uh, puzzle solving. That's fair. Can't. It, there's a lot of things I can't remember from a lot of older games. Ah, oh, there's more of you things. Although, admittedly, I probably should be fighting all of you. Because I was having a hard time earlier, and I don't want to fall behind in levels. I wonder. 
Really? Cyber Sleuth games? I played... Oh, I can't see it from here. Uh, but the first Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, which I played, it's alright. I think the reason I really dig, or I really liked the DS Digimon games was because of both how interactive the farms were. The farm features were, because you could talk to your Digimon, you could interact with them, feed them, uh, use the... the um, What's the word? I wanted to say attractions because of a certain video I just finished watching. And, um, but no, I, it was more interactive. You could do your Digimon more. There was also the Digi, the Digi Edge Evolutions requirements were a lot better in the DS games. Well, in Cyber Sleuth, you were, it just wasn't, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, admittedly. I just didn't like how the evolutions were. The fighting wasn't as exciting to me, probably because they focused so much on the 3D models for them that, oh my god, I feel like I'm talking about Sword and Shield again, holy shit. I just realized how weird this argument is sounding familiar. But I think they're interesting, they're good games, but I definitely would say in comparison to the DS versions, I would rather just play the DS versions again. I had more fun with those than I did with the Cyber Suit games. I, I recommend playing them. I can say that. I do recommend uh, recommend purchasing them and trying them, but I can't say they're better than what's already available. Hello, fellow traveler. Oh, you're a monster keeper, aren't you? And champion monsters, have you messed so far? Two? Not bad. Me? Oh, I have some monsters of my own, alright, but I don't mess with champion monsters. I'm just a wanderer. Exploring the different regions of Sanctuary. Sometimes I find some treasure. Tell you what, you keep doing the good work. These crystal shards will come in handy when you're deep in some dungeon. Crystal shards are special items. You can use them to return a teleporter stone. Keep your stronghold at once. Farewell, then. Wish you all the best on your adventure. So, again, uh, one of the Digimon types, because you have Digimon Story uh, and then the Digimon World series. Digimon Story usually focuses more on plot, also, which is another thing that why I may not have liked Cyber Sleuth, because it had more focus on the plot than the gameplay. And then Digimon World. Now, the Digimon World DS games are a lot different from, I want to I want to say the mainstream, but I don't, I don't know how to say it, because I've played a lot of Digimon World games, and they're definitely a lot different than the Digimon Story games, because Digimon World ones focus more on breeding Digimon than they do battling them and so on. So like, oh, I really wish I had a better view of my PS4 games from where I'm sitting, but I want to say I can barely see it. Uh, Digimon World Next Order. That was one that was kind of sold, made, uh, released in tandem with Cyber Sleuth. Uh, it focuses more on uh, raising the Digimon, kind of like Monster Rancher, if you want to get a good example. And I like the Monster Rancher games, which is why I don't understand why I don't like the Digimon uh, World one. Um, in where you have to feed them, you have to watch how much, uh, watch their hunger, similar to Sims. Uh, with, uh, what's, what, what's the word I'm looking for? So like how Sims, you had to watch, you had to watch their thirst, you had to watch their hunger, you had to make sure they eat the right things. Are they carnivores? Are they herbivores? And it just, maybe it's because it was Digimon. I felt so out of touch with it. I didn't really get that interested in it. It just, I just didn't like it in that regard. If that makes sense. Okay, I need to solve this puzzle before I do anything else. Uh, I need a grass attack. I don't think I have anything for these, because I need a... I don't have anything for water orbs. I don't have anything for grass orbs or electric. That's unfortunate. But, um... It, it just reminded me of... Oh my goodness, another monster? I feel like that one's going to be way stronger than what we have. I'm not going to fight that. That seems a little much. But because it focused so much on like a, the raising aspect of Digimon, I wasn't that interested in it compared to the battling, which is what I was most interested in when it came to Digimon games, and which is why I still say uh, Digimon World DS and Digimon World Dawn and Dusk are the best. Uh, this is... can I... This seems incredibly stupid. Alright. Nah, no, I don't look like I can do anything in here. Uh, I remember I was interested in those games because character design also did Devil's Fur 2. That is true. I do believe you are right. I think I remember when I first played uh, Cyber Sleuth, that was one thing I noticed how the 
male and female character designs, and I think I remember pointing out, I was like, oh, they remind me of Shizuo Heiwajima, because that's the first character I think of when I think of uh, Jirarara for good reason. Alright, what level are you? That gives me a good... Okay, you're level 11. I'm gonna retreat. <laughs> I think I'm heading into two high-level areas. Which means either A, I need to battle a little bit. Or something. Alright, that was where there was no light. The character designs though were actually really good. I thought they were either the for the females they were really cute, guys were cute as well. Everyone was really cute, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think there was one character I wasn't like, oh their design is super cute. What level are you guys? Can I fight you guys? Yeah, that's good. Okay, we'll fight you. I'll just head back to the hub or, hub area. So we got fire. Wait, no, they're they're strong against fire. What am I doing? Ah, uh, so bye. Rowan. I want to say Fungi might be a good, a good choice here. Get some debuffs going, yeah. And since he does uh, poison debuffs, I can help. That'll help Corona out. So a sidekick, get an extra attack off. So, that's, so I can try to explain a few, a few more things about this game, if possible. Uh, debuffs are kind of right here as well. Sidekick, each attack triggers an additional 40% damage, and so on. That's why Sidekick's really good. Now, where do I want to poison first? I should probably apply weakness first, because I remember right. Oh, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Aang, however, is going to be the biggest healer, so I'm going to go for him. Or <laughs> the monk is going to go deal, be the big healer of the group, so i got to take him out first. Take you out? I cannot. Oh, I, can, I forgot I can swap mon my monsters for who goes first. Yeah, let's take. Nope. Ooh, only you can take him out. I was hoping to get another poison debuff off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. Alright, take him out. Take out the monk. I don't want him healing. Problem is, those the others are. Uh... Oh my goodness, I was looking at their shields, I wasn't looking at their actual health. Oh. So the little blue bar, that's the top, the white bar for enemies, that's their, uh, that's a shield. And, I, and in order to get to their health, I have to take out the shield first. And I wasn't paying attention to the, sh the health, or wasn't re recognizing that the shield was the, uh, something separate. Oh no. This is actually an, an annoying team they have. Okay, so he'll die on his next turn, because he has two stacks of poison. I'll go for one of the other two. There you go. Ah, stop hitting me. So if you're wondering how you're supposed to quote unquote catch the monsters, you have to get to you well enough in a battle to where your star ranking is high enough to get an egg off of one of the monsters. So every battle we do, if I get, if I do well enough to where I don't either A, don't take enough damage, or B, deal enough damage, or a mix of the two, uh, I have a chance of getting an egg from one of them. And I actually wouldn't mind getting one of these guys, because these, they seem to care a lot about making shields, and I feel like that would work pretty well with uh, my magma pillar, who does the same thing, but with only with fire damage. to you. There we go. Three stacks. I'll take it. Yeah, he'll be down next turn. Problem is he's gonna get... Oh, you're shielding him. Darn it. Can't remember, though. Does shield go... Maximum health. Yeah, so that'll... that should kill him next turn. So let's focus on the other one. Uh, 
uh, the one on the right should go down on the beginning of the next turn from all that poison damage. Problem is, I don't have any mana, so my monster can't actually do anything. So I'm just gonna go for a basic attack. Should go down. Oh, it's not max. Ah, oh, max my health does count towards the shield. Oh, that's so annoying. And I am running really low on health. I gotta take at least one of them out. There we go. That's one down. Uh, stream still seems to be going good. Please do not go for. Okay, good. I should be doing this one. Because the area has poison off, even if it's only one stack. Getting weakness off will hopefully save us. Ugh, come on now. No more shields! <laughs> struggling this much with uh, monsters of equal level, I need to start leveling a little bit. Ooh, I got one of the, I got the reg. Good. At least check out their... Where is the egg? Do I already have the egg? Oh, there it is. That's the frosty. I do not have a name for you. You're like a wisp. So. I'll call you Whisper. Alright, let me see what your skill tree looks like. This is everyone I had so far, by the way. Alright. Uh, Spectral Flame. 95 magic damage, or 195% magic damage, uh, ice hail, water damage, chilling wind is wind damage, so you do ice and wind, or water and wind, sorry, uh, barrier, which is really annoying, yep, that was, that makes sense, buffing shield is probably what the monsters have, because that's a really annoying buff, and magic powered shield, ha, yep, that, this, this thing, it's really good with that. It's really good. It's if you focus on making shields, it's super annoying. Uh, let's see what's down the line here. Is there anything for shields in the offensive capabilities? And a shielding. Eh, that could be good. So I think I'm, if I'm going to use Whisper, I'm probably going to focus on the shielding purposes of it. Uh-oh. I just saw dropped frames. Uh-oh. How's the... Is the stream still looking good for everybody? That's not good. gonna start playing the Wesker 8 clip when you see a mon, you're like, listen, I'm not gonna take people, certain people's, well, you'll give me an egg, kind of clip. Well, I don't even know how to do uh, clips for when certain things happen. If uh, streaming ever gets better in terms of both internet connection and also doing more things on here, I probably would love to do sound effects, but for right now, uh, probably not gonna be able to do that, unfortunately. This one also cares about chill. It says two minutes ago, so hopefully it wasn't too bad. It also only says it was two times, so maybe I just hit a spike. 
Oh, yeah, it was only five seconds. Yeah, it said it was like two, it was uh, two drop frames, only 13%. So that's yeah, not too bad. And especially considering uh, I've been streaming for about 40 minutes now, it's not bad. Especially considering uh, the Sims one, where it wasn't even you guys couldn't even watch anything. I couldn't watch anything when I looked at the VOD. I think I'll do for now. I don't know if I'm gonna use him though, because I feel like the team I have right now is pretty good. Fun guys in middly. One of the ones I kind of not a fan of, but that's only because he's really squishy. Like his defensive stats are really low, and he doesn't he doesn't really create a barrier like Magma Pillar does. I don't really think I have any. Yeah, I have defensive stat. I have a uh, defensive equipment on him too. That's the sad part. Like his defense is naturally lower than it already is right now. But. Nothing I can do about it for now. So what's down here? Let's drown. Feather plus two. Ooh, there's even further down here. Okay. Can we go through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got? No problems? Okay, good. Get Vi out. What do we have down here? Ooh, I can't get down there. Wonder if that means there's a monster. What do you have? Levitate this player, excuse me? Hold up. What do you mean levitate me? Oh, you're just, you're the same thing as Vi. I guess because Vi is a bird that, you know, flies, I don't know why I didn't take into account it says levitate. Where? I need to go to my map. Uh, we have one square right there that I need to get. Otherwise, I believe every other area was a dead end. Or somewhere we can't explore right now. So I'm probably going to just head back to... Aw, oh, do I want to fight you things? Kinda, yeah. I'm going to do a different setup, though. Uh, okay. I need wind. Ang. Let's do Ang. Hmm. Ang Corona Meowsers. Did I not? I, I think I said earlier I didn't even get the fire punches, did I? Oh, yeah, yeah. You are, do not deal physical damage, so I'm not going to bother with stability. Save cast. Get those buffs going. Take them out one at a time. Yeah, I get poisoned. Uh oh. Ugh, said another two frames dropped. No. We were going so well. My CPU isn't even that high. Come on now. It's only at Off just want an attack, I cannot. Let's open the same mana. So, on the off chance that uh, future streams go quote unquote as smoothly as this one is, even though I'm starting to get dropped frames every so often now, uh, I do want to do. Under the also also under the assumption that we have more active viewers, I wanted to get like Jackbox games in. 
Because those, whenever I watch streams of some of the people I follow on Twitch, those happen. Those are typically my favorite streams to watch. Is when everyone's doing Jackbox, and then either having viewers coming in and joining the main room and just playing the game itself, and also just joining in and being the viewer portion of uh, Jackbox games. Either that or doing just regular games of. Uh, I have a few games in mind I can think of that I would uh, just do random games with viewers and so on. I just, I just the interaction itself is the funnest part. All right, so what is up here? I already got that. What on earth? Uh, right here? Oh, I do not want to fight Tengu. They have really good DPS, and it's really annoying. I have no How do you get to that? Uh, looks like it's above me. I'm head back. I know I'm heading backwards, but where I just came from, but now, now the game has me curious. Fighting you. Like I said, I'm definitely down to do Jackbox streams. It's just obviously it's a matter of we'd have to have a certain amount of people in order to actually play it in the first place. Can I just destroy this for a shortcut? Eh, I hoped. don't want to fight you. Although, admittedly, I probably should try to fight the Tengu. Try to get an egg from them. So, yeah, let's do it. Try to get an egg. They're all weak to water. I don't have anyone who does water except Aang and Corona. Actually, that's not that bad. What am I talking about? Corona, Aang. Uh, yeah, Magma. Because Magma will give shields. Alright, take out the Tengu first. The DPS is way too annoying. Your healer. No, no. Okay, well, oh, they do too much. They do so much damage. Oh, I'll take out the healer, or try to nah. Take out Tengu. They gotta go down. I'm more worried about the DPS than I am the healer. Yeah, that's not that bad. Poison's annoying, though. Ah. <laughs> Ow. There goes our entire shield. But in terms of the uh, Jackbox stream idea, I own most Jackbox games. Admittedly on multiple consoles, because I'm an idiot who over-purchases or purchases games more than once for some reason. I still don't know why I do that, to be honest. But I want to do them. But once again, it also is reliant on getting more people into the streams themselves, into the actual stream. Level up though. 
So now we're at level 10, we should have access to the next skill tree for some of No! Oh, there we go. Let's see, we got Heal Mastery, Safe Cast is 2, and Healing Wave. Healing Wave is tempting, because that would make Corona a healing tank now. Mana Overload would be good too. Could make him a DPS. Because he does have a lot of uh, mana. That applies channel on two party members. Tempting. Heal Mastery's pointless unless we actually have a healing skill, so I'm not gonna go grab that first. Let's, I'm kinda stuck between these three. I feel like safe cast is pretty good as it is now, so I might grab healing wave. Yeah. Magma pillar. Grab copy shield right away. Because that is really good. Do I have another skill point? No, I use it already. Yeah, Meowzerus has two. It's all enemies. I definitely grab that. And then grab... Yeah, I'll grab precision. First attack. Bye. That. So I ooh, so I can buff the whole party and apply shield or applies barrier buff. That's tempting. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that one. Alright, now Aang, I have to give Aang the fire punches. I need more fire damage on my team. Still saving you for these. Alright. Uh, I think we're good to continue. It's so weird, though, that it shows... Oh, right, because that leads back into that area. Hello, Cross. Doing pretty good. I know I recommend this game. It's in, uh, I believe it's... I want to say it's either Alpha or Beta. It's not fully done, but it is in in development game. It's really good. If you like... It's a mixture of uh, Metroidvania... And uh, I see I, everyone thinks every, most people will think it's Pokemon, but it's a mix of uh, Digimon and Metroidvania, as I would say. Uh, I should probably fight this tanker, shouldn't I? Yeah. Uh, for reference, though, the game is called Monster Sanctuary. It's on Steam. I think it's I want to say it's like ten bucks, ten or fifteen, somewhere around that. It's been a while since I've had it, so I actually don't know, remember the exact price of it. Nice. Ooh, that extra crit chance is going to be good if we use Shred as our first attack. So I hope everyone's New Year's Day is going well. Uh, I know for some of uh, some people, they've already they're already into the new year, and I'm still in the past. Unfortunately, I'm still in last year. I know that joke's been made a thousand times over, but still. Yes, I got a Tango Egg. Nice. I really wanted to see what their skill tree was. Um, like I said earlier, we're probably playing this game for eh, about another 30 minutes, another 30, 45 minutes, and I'll see about swapping games. Uh, what do I want to call Tengu? Promise you, I don't believe you can rename them, so I actually kind of only have one chime to do it. Uh, what do I want to name you? And the chance that you catch up, you're free to shoot any suggestions while I'm trying to deliberate over this. Can't really think of anything off the top of my head. I'm trying to draw in a blank. Worst case scenario, I just kind of go back to Tengu. I don't, I don't exactly name every single one of the uh, monsters I get. What 
much fit that. Uh, I stream. I'm not a regular streamer, only because um, I've had problems with the streams in the past because my internet connection isn't the most amazing and. Going by OBS right now, I've had 10 dropped frames recently, which which kind of just shows it. Um, this would be, I want to say it's stream four, but stream one went all right. Uh, I have the VOD on YouTube, and but stream three or stream two and three didn't go well because the frames were just so bad. It, the stream wouldn't actually run. But otherwise, I, I, I stream whenever I, ever I feel in the mood, really, to put it simply. I don't necessarily know if I want to make it a weekly thing, especially considering my schedule's pretty hectic, unfortunately. Especially now that I'm finally out of college, I have, uh, I gotta start searching for an actual job and whatnot. Or, a, not an actual job, I have an actual job, but a job fitting for a degree and whatnot, so I gotta work on that. Alright, so let's see what skill tree you got. That's the move that, I keep, that he kept using on me that was really annoying. Okay, so mana overload, uh, plus, fireball storm. Another mana, three mana overloads? Oh my goodness, you are full on DPS and nothing else. Oh yeah, no, this is, this monster's all about DPS and nothing else. I guess the poison tree here is just because if you want to have earth damage as well. That is disgusting though. Three mana overloads, oh my goodness. Look how much, it has like a base 115 mana too, that's, oh, that's gross, that's really gross. Uh, I feel that you're still in the country before moving. I don't feel like I ever go back to slow upload. Yeah, it's I don't know. It's 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 just a hectic schedule. That's really the main problem. I kind of want to use this one because that's a lot of DPS. Physical damage. That's physical damage. Fire though. Your magic is where you're at. Deals more than 25% damage damage max for 10 against champions. Gain 5 charge stacks. I don't actually know what a charge stack does. I wonder if that's something to do with uh, when you get the 30 plus, which is a work in progress, as you can see. Fire attacks deal 10% more damage. That's pretty good. Uh, I might save. Magic Power Seal is pretty good. I don't see that bad. I might grab Poison Bomb just so I can grab Magic Powered Shield, that's pretty good. And uh, Magic Plus again. So, who do I want to swap out? I'm tempted to swap out Fun Guy for the... Uh, I just graduated with a degree in CIS, Computer Information Systems. Um, in terms of what job I want to find, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really certain. I've always just kind of said to everybody, like, when someone asks me, oh, like, what kind of job do you want? So I just kind of say, like, it's really a job in computers, really. I feel most comfortable working on a computer. Goodness knows I've helped uh, some of my family with their own separate businesses, uh, setting up their own computer programs and so on. So I feel like I just kind of... I, just, yeah, I'm, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say good, because I don't want to overestimate myself, but I'd like to say I'm at least a little more confident that I can handle a computer better than most, if that makes sense. Get him assessed us. Alright. Uh, man generation, good chance, man generation. Feather seems tempting. What do you have over here? 
I feel like mana generation is going to be a big deal. Yeah, put Marp put that. Alright, where was the... I also could just head up. Like, it's the, the hub area. The hub area is, like, literally right here. I know, um, I wanted to get a degree in uh, game design, but unfortunately there's not a lot of colleges that offer that degree, or at least none that would accept me. So I unfortunately had to stick with what I had, which I'm not really going to complain about it. I have my degree now, and that alone should be enough, hopefully. Where did he say he was going to go? I don't even remember. I think he said to meet me at the top of the tower, right? I feel like I'm gonna need luck. I've always get I always get told like, oh yeah, there's jobs everywhere for using a computer because everybody needs it because computer, as a character, one of my favorite shows would say, uh, Age of the Geek. Oh hey River, you just come at the right moment. I think I found a clue about that masked stranger in the blue caves. My family had a vague memory of his mask, just as yours, just as you're familiar, I imagine. So it didn't take me too long to find something in the archives. But first off, you should know all about the old. You know all about the old world, right? Oh no, this is gonna be a long lore d dump, isn't it? Um, no. <laughs> the old world is what's outside the monster sanctuary. The current year, 49 AC. What the heck was that sound? Our current year, 490 AC, means after creation, 490 years ago, there was a war between the first monster keepers and the kings of the old world. Uh, Monster Sanctuary was created during the world the war, magically we separating from this world anyway. Ever since the war, 490 years ago, the humans of our old world have been pursuing ways to explore all the uncharted regions of the earth and to learn all the secrets of nature. They call it science. However, there were still a great number of alchemists in many countries at the start of the old world during that time. Alchemy is an ever-changing craft. Its results unpredictable and oftentimes dangerous, similar to magic. By 200 AC, I am having my sound cut out. Oh, it's because my thing was coming unplugged. Hello. Now I'm getting worried. Uh, let's see. Uh, aren't, well, a lot of them aren't regionally credited to game design. Yeah, that's a total myth. They all have, have jobs because you have to create all the stores. This make me feel. Yeah, I know. I I knew, despite how many people told me that as soon as I have a degree, I knew that just because I have a degree doesn't mean, oh yeah, you're guaranteed a job. It, you still gotta you still gotta apply yourself. You still gotta reach out and so on. I'm not that naive, but I, I do understand that it does help get jobs at the very least because people will, people who are uh, looking to hire will be like, oh, this person has a degree, and they'll put them at they'll put that person higher up on the list, but not necessarily at the top of the list when it comes to hiring uh, possible employees. My sound is cutting out. Is that you? Do you guys have sound cutting out as well, or is that just me? Because I'm worried that might just be me. Because my speaker or my headset keeps crackling, and it's making me a little worried. Because admittedly, I do have a long cable for my uh, headset. I thought I fixed it because uh, the cord that was connecting to it was a little loose. Uh, that's all I found here in the archives and the books here. There's nothing written about what's happened after the alchemists came. There goes the sound. What just happened? My sound just went. Do you guys still hear the game? My speaker just went out from my headset. Oh no. What just happened? Uh, what just happened now? Uh, okay. I need to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, I got it back. I don't know if the sound cut out for you, but I did not have any sound on my headset for a sec there. It's back now, though. Uh, there's supposed to be more books somewhere in the song. That was a nice scare on my part for myself. Uh, there's supposed to be more books somewhere in the Stronghold Dungeon, which is east of the Keeper's Stronghold. 
Uh, we got to do the Keeper Battle Training before we can go there, though. The Keeper Battle Trainer is in the Keeper's Tower. I Just above this room. I'll go ahead. I really do like the pixel art in this game. It's really cute. I don't know. I maybe I'm just a. I, I kind of favor games with pixel art. I've never really been a fan of the whole 4K, 1080, whatever. When it came to art, fight previous new monsters. Two hundred score. No, I don't want to do that. Where did he say? I didn't. I already. I already forgot where he said to go. Also, Mondi, don't worry about beating yourself up over that. He's right, or they're right. Blah. Sorry about that. But they are right. You gotta. Some things. Some things take time. Don't I know that? I know that from personal experience. That certain things take time. Alt path leads to eastern parts. Sanctuary is really. Okay, but where? I already forgot where they, where our rival said to go. Nope, that's our family. How did I? For, I already forgot where he said to go. Oh no. <laughs> It might almost be time though to swap games. So there's another game I've owned for quite a while now, which I've wanted to play. What is this? Explain it to me. Basically, you just come out. That's the tutorial from how the combo system works. Where did he say to go? <laughs> I don't even remember. Because I can't head east, like he said. Yeah, as long as it's playable or fun, that's how I feel. Where did I rival say to go? Also, is there anything up there? No, journals like the Pokedex or whatever, or the Digidex. Ah, oh, darn it. There's nothing that tells you where to go if you haven't played in a while. At least to my knowledge, I don't think there is. Shoot. That's my memory at work, to be honest, though. I forget something that was told to me five seconds ago. is just setting a skill tree. Nope, that's back to the caves. <laughs> Alright, I might call this game and swap over a different game because I'm lost and I might have to check something and I'll take some time. 
But this is Monster Sanctuary. I do like this game a lot, though. I, I do recommend it if you like a bit of a mixed Metroidvania with, uh, I'm still going to say Digimon over Pokemon type of uh, fighting. Uh, I'm going to quickly swap over games, and I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, there we go, I think. Although, gotta meet that. Oh, I just gotta stretch it out. So this is a game I wanted to play on stream and not on YouTube. 
Just because of the nature of it? Oh my, what is happening? Hold up. Why is it not letting me go down? Uh oh, okay, something's not right. Was I sitting on a button like old games? How if you sit on a certain button when you start up a game, it uh... Alright, well, I gotta reset it then, see if that does it. That is not working. Yeah, I've been wanting to do Curse of the Moon on stream, like, ever since I got it, and I played a little bit on it of it on uh, my Switch. Why is my up button t doing that? Here, I'm gonna unplug my controller to see if that does it. There we go. Okay, plug, it, plug the controller back in. Let's see if that... Nope. Okay, so it's something with my controller. Uh, options. I probably should've went to controller settings. Yeah, okay, that was probably it. Oh, one second. Now I dropped my cable connecting my controller to my computer. Oh, don't get stuck. I've done enough cable management to where, like, this shouldn't happen. No, I didn't hit a button. <laughs> no. Okay, up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Jump, B, X, Y. Oh, this is so silly. No! <laughs> Stop it! I don't even know what hit- Wait a minute. That didn't do it right. I know it didn't because I held it down. Oh, this is so silly. Why is it not already configured? And why is it not a selection? I got it. Nice. Okay. Now we should be good. So anyone who's played the older type of Castlevania games where they weren't Metroidvania should quickly understand this game. Or in your case, a Manji who's already have who's already played this game. So like I said, I played a little bit of it on uh, on Switch. I haven't beaten the game. I just want to put that out there. I've not beaten the game, but I've only gotten through to the middle of the second level, and then I got frustrated because I couldn't win. Now, do I want to play veteran or casual? That's a good question. Uh, I played veteran on the other one. I don't know if I want to... Oh, I'm going to regret this. Uh, funny story, girlfriend was looking for Switch stuff. Uh, Facebook, more on Switch match for 20, Twitter games, of course, she inquired with me, and we're like, nope, too shady. Oh, boy, yeah. Facebook Party Place is certainly a little scary. I've had a good luck on it. There was once a man who was given the moon's curse by demons. That man was Zangetsu. Wrapped in crimson garb with eyes like fire, he relentlessly pursued the demons who cursed him. As he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another, he would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path. One night, he sensed the looming presence of, an, of a great demon. He swore to eradicate all demons, no matter how much of a threat they posed. Bathed in moonlight, he cried out as he drew his sword, which consumed the darkness from within its wretched steel. On that night, either demons or the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade. It's fun! Tough, but fun. And I'm probably gonna admittedly get a little mad. Because I remember getting really mad on uh, the Switch one. And I was like, you know what? I should probably do this on stream, because why not? But no, in the Facebook Marketplace thing, I've had 
out of the three attempts I've had to purchase something on there, only one of them has been successful. Uh, one of them, two of them are magic cards, magic gathering cards, where one of them was like a card that was worth like hundred dollars, which I managed to get. The other was like a pack of cards, that was pretty rare. All right, I gotta use the controls again. Um, that one didn't go well, and then the third one was a guy who was selling a collection of the Pokemon games, like the GBA Pokemon game, for like 80 bucks. It was all of the GBA ones from from uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Emerald, Sapphire, and Ruby, and it was like all 80 bucks, and it came with a Game Boy Advance. And I was like, that's pretty good deal for 80 dollars, all five games, and and a Game Boy Advance. Sure, why not? I don't know why I did that. That's my own fault for taking damage already. Um, but no, what happened was is I noticed that one of the games, I think it was uh, Emerald, looked really weird. And so I asked him straight up, like, hey, can you send me a pic, a video of yourself turning on the games? One thing you'll, one fun fact from a collector to a, possibly another one who wants to be a collector is if how to tell a GBA game is fake and real, if you turn on the game, if it says ROM loaded, then it's fake. Otherwise, it just throws up like a normal Pokemon game. So I wanted to make sure that they were real, so I asked him to boot up the game and send me a video of him booting it up. Uh, he never did it. And eventually he just started harassing me, saying, are you gonna buy the game, are you gonna buy the game? And I had to block him, because he was getting really annoying. But otherwise, I think that the marketplace is not the best place to buy games and other things. But it's not awful. It's just, it's hit or miss, really. Oh, come on, because you're gonna, as soon as I go up the steps, you're gonna. Also, yeah, it's literally just a it's their standard Castlevania game. Yep, sub weapons. Now you're gonna shoot as soon as I. Yeah, the marketplace is a little scary. Even the one that I succeeded in getting the item for what I paid for. I was scared because he asked me to go to a literal alley, and I thought I was gonna get jumped in some regard. I got terrified. You are gonna... Oh my god, did I just do that? I just did that, didn't I? Ugh. I'm gonna have to switch to casual right away if I'm gonna be like that this whole time. Media police stations. That's a that's a good that's a good um, tactic to try to stay safe out there. You have no idea what kind of people you'll meet with these kind of things. I honestly don't remember if the uh, if the AI for the rats falls off or not. I want to say they don't. Get on the train. So 
one thing I do... Well, we'll get to it. I don't want to spoil the surprise right away. Oh, I forgot about chandeliers. No. Oh, no. It's all coming apart already. Oh, that's right. You gotta keep walking with them. Yeah, the whip's really bad. It's really bad. Unlike in, uh... Ritual of the Night, where I actually really liked losing the whips. The whip in this one is really bad. I am taking way too much damage. I don't know if I'll be able to do the uh, boss. I think I'm taking way too much damage. I prefer the charm. The charm's really good. Continuous damage on a targeted area if you aim it right. It's really good. Like that. It's really nice. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why I said I'm bad at parkour games. I can't even make simple jumps. Oh my. Uh, what's your favorite game of all time or one you're fond of? I... Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know if I would really have a favorite game. I have games that I really prefer, yes, but I don't know if I would say if I have a game of all time. That's a tough one. Yeah, see, the whip is really bad. Ah, uh, you would jump. Darn it. Well, at least I'm pretty much going back up with the same amount of health. I know, like, I have games that I have a decent fondness of. Like, there are certain games I've played a lot more than others. Like, for instance, one of my most played games on uh, Steam, for instance, is uh, Mountain Blade Warband, which is a sandbox game where you create a large army and you can either create your own nation, and it's like medieval times, I should probably mention. Uh, you create your own medieval nation, you can become a vassal, and so on, and I like how it's pretty accurate. I missed. Shoot. Why am I walking with it? I'm gonna die here. But, um... Wow, I lost where I was going with that. Oh, I really hope I get health. I don't think I am. Oh, thank you. I think I have enough. I should be fine. Nope! Not taking up. Alright. So one thing I really like, if you played or watched my uh, Bloodstained Ritual of Night thing, I love how they have bosses from both games just different in the way they play. Ah, I'm already messing up. That's great. Come on. I think the biggest problem I'm going to have with trying this is because I have to actually concentrate. Oh, darn it me. I'm better with the Metroidvania versions of Castlevania, that's the problem. Oh god. Can't take any more hits though. Like, there are things you have to remember, like, you, when you move is, and then jump. So 
like when you have to move, then jump, and not jump, then move. Because you can't, as long as you jump, you can't really move. Ah, oh, darn it. That was too close. I thought I could get one more hit in. I'm going to have to go back to casual, I think. It's weird, right? Like, when you get older, you feel... Yeah, okay. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do it now. <laughs> I'm doing really bad. I'm just going to go to casual. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a... I'm a... I'm a casual. I'm weak. I'm weak. Just because I do actually want to get a little further in than I... Which means I do have to start all over again. Which... Unfortunate, but I, I'm not. I don't have the. I don't have the confidence nor the skill to do things with lives. Uh, in terms of Castle Games, I finished. I have finished Super Castlevania, which is probably my favorite of this scrolling type of Castlevania games. Uh, I finished. Oh my goodness. Uh, Ario Sorrow, Darnus, Dawn of Sorrow. Those were some of my personal favorites as well. I finished. Um... Ah, I don't want to jump. That was our taking hit there. Oh man, I'm trying to think of all the ones I finished. I can't think of their names though, that's the problem. I think I would remember a lot of their names, but a friend of mine would tell me I am garbage with names, and I shouldn't be surprised when I don't remember them. Donosaro, Ariosaro. What's the one? Simping tonight. That was when I finished. Uh, let's see. I mean, obviously I finished uh, Lords of Shadows. Woo! Finish Lords of Shadows, I'm so happy. No, do not grapple with. Yay. <laughs> yeah, Lords of Shadows, everybody. Truly, truly a great Castlevania game. Don't understand why it's a cult classic, but um, I honestly can't think of. I know I've beaten more than the ones I've mentioned. I haven't beaten all of them. Hell, I haven't even played all of them. I haven't even. There's some uh, DS ones and GBA ones I haven't even touched. I'm not grabbing that. I would like to say though, I've, I've at least beaten three or uh, four or five Castlevania games. Mostly the Metroidvania ones, though, because I prefer those ones, that, and overall I'd like to say I'm better than those ones. I do still play uh, these versions of Castlevania games, just because they're challenging. I do mind, I don't mind a uh, challenge every so often. I say as I swap to casual mode. I thought I, I thought I didn't make that jump for a sec there. Here. 
All I know is that the second one was definitely fun, but the worst part about the second one was the stupid symbols you had to draw in order to actually defeat the bosses. Oh, that was awful. Worst decision they could have made. Yeah, I, I messed up already. Ah, I thought I had a safe spot because I just realized, I was like, oh, no, no, uh, flames have actually hit that spot right there. Ah, missed it. Not doing that good in terms of damage on this one. Ah, I missed it again. Darn it. Oh, the soundtrack is great. If you don't want to play the games, I at least recommend... Got it. There we go. Now I got it. Gotta get that sweet spot for you. Throw the charm right at the end there. Ah, missed it. Darn it. Ah, I walked right into that one. Oh, not yet? Okay. Hey, got it. I already know what you're gonna do. Just hide right here. There's one thing I do like, is all the bosses have that final attack, like that one right there. So they try to make you think, oh man, I'm gonna do the same exact type of thing. Nope, psych, final attack. And I do believe the final attacks are a insta-death. Well, not insta-death, but they do kill you. Okay, that is an insta-death. What am I talking about? Well, for an hour and a half. Oh, I wonder who this could be. Thank you for saving me. Was it the demon's power you used to steal, to steal that beast? You. You're a shard binder. A power that can summon forth demons at will. I cannot allow that. Wait, it is true that I am a shard binder. However, I have sworn to the ever righteous in my command for this power. I refuse to be used for evil. Then show me the proof of that determination in battle. Miriam has become an ally. Swap allies with L with left bumper and right bumper. No one is without strengths, weaknesses. We can have blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It's been a while since so I actually got to reread this kind of <laughs> quality A plus voice acting. <laughs> I jump slide. Yeah, so Miriam is pretty much your what you would expect from the actual Simon, Velma, and, uh... Once again, my memory for names. Use your 